The following podcast contains mature language and adult discussions. Kev, I, I'm not even going to ask you about the Oscars because I know you uh, you were traveling, so you didn't catch them. But I'll ask you a question, though. When's the last time you can remember, or if ever, two professional wrestlers were at the Oscars? You had Dwayne, who was there, and uh, who presented, and then Cena. I think this has to be a first. Did you say ex pro wrestlers? No, I said I said pro wrestlers. Oh, but uh, yeah, two pro wrestlers at the Oscars, featured at the Oscars, not just sitting in row seventy-five. So I think this was a milestone. Winner, winner, chicken dinner says, just want to say this. Wife and I finally got some jackknife, and she smoked the whole thing. Ooh. Next thing, thank you to Blue Chew. She did the arch. Thought everyone was good. (laughs) Who's the jabroni with his own weed? (laughs) Not a jabroni. (laughs) Not a jabroni chic. Of course not. Give me Blue Chew. Oh, to the arch. We're in, we're in a chicken dinner. You're not kidding. So there's a, there's a cocktail that we may want to think about, right? A little jackknife? A little jackknife and a blue chew. You can't go wrong with a blue oh, chew. Fucking, it's a perfect first date. I take, a, I take a blue chew and fucking drive across country just to fucking just to <laughs> be on <Steer>. edge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tim Malcolm watched or listened last week he said i feel like wrestling retirement matches are for wrestlers that were literally icons or in the game on top for three plus decades undertaker rick flair sting it's not for disco inferno disco inferno or mid-card guys kind of surprising that sean acts like he doesn't get it he's supposed to be the voice of reason on the podcast and he's the one that's like what's up with all these retirement matches I'm thinking back to wrestlers. Did Hogan have a retirement match? No. I, th- I just, it wasn't a thing, and it's becoming no. more frequently a thing now. That's all. I don't but, think that, did Taker really have a retirement match? Was it? It was his Taker? last match, his last ride, they called it, right? It was, but I don't know. It was. But not, I mean, it was, but it, I mean, wasn't that cinema match with, with AJ the last one? See. AJ, yeah. Yeah, okay. So so a cinematic um, two-day shoot. <laughs> right. It's the last match. That's, yeah, that's your last. Yeah. It's called the last shoot. The last I can have film. one of those. It's called, a fucking, it's called an action scene. My last match was against Thomas Jane and the Punisher. I was going to say, it was the Russian. Right? Yeah, I was, I was the Russian. Every, everything after that, I just fucking phoned in. Tom Talker, 2000, we used to watch John Chancellor on the national news before Tom Brokaw took his position. That was, he was like that old guy, like the, the guy with the, the glasses, right? <sighs> I can't. I can't. I don't know by I, name. I, I, if I saw him, maybe. Yeah, you'd 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 know him if you saw him. I uh, said that was and still is a staple in our home. And now Lester Holt. Okay. I think Lester. I, there he is. Oh yeah. I Looks feel like, like that he, was a little before. Well, when would that have been before Brokaw? Early eighties. Seventies. I remember late, I was in late seven. That to me, the guy that that I always thought that guy had a very BBC look to him. It is a very the, the thick glasses, very serious, the very conservative hair. Yes, Kevin, you know you talked on air about having to you you took your mailbox down at one point, like when first achieving fame and fortune. 
No, it was when Google started taking those aerial shots oh. with dr drones of your house and putting where you lived. It, everything is online now. The world's become so small. We're, it's got, got a magnifying glass up to our lives. But you know what, though? Having said that, we fortunately have com companies that are looking out for us and services we can use to protect ourselves. Data brokers could sell information to scammers, spammers, anyone who wants to target you. We're easy to find. You don't have to be famous and on TV three times a week. Now we're all accessible. Our full names, emails, home addresses, health records, even relatives, people in our family that will pop up. That's why we were both given the gift of Aura. Okay, the sponsor of today's video. Aura shows me which data brokers are selling my information and automatically submits opt-out requests, okay? Just doing a search, okay, for yourself, anybody who's listening, you can see how much information pops up about you, okay? So cleaning up this information not only helps reduce the amount of spam I get, it's going to protect me from hackers who could take this information, use it, and help them access my social media accounts, bank accounts, for God's sake, sensitive information. Aura also does so much more to protect my family from online threats that I can't see. There's features like antivirus, VPN, password management, parental controls, identity theft, insurance, and more without having to download several different apps. It's really easy to set up, and best of all, I get everything for one affordable price. Look at this price comparison that's up on the screen now. Kevin, there's a lot of choices out there. People can go anywhere. So Kevin and I are protecting ourselves. Now, you out there, you might already have one or two of these tools already, but not having Aura is like locking the front door, but you're leaving the back wide open, okay? Aura is always on, doing the hard work of keeping me and Kevin safe so we can focus on other tasks with peace of mind. Like, what the hell are we going to talk about tonight for three hours? I value my privacy. We value yours. You can go to Aura.com slash click. Okay, I want you to go to Aura.com slash click, K-L-I-Q. Start your two-week free trial. I equate this to, if you have any kind of internet or Wi-Fi, if you don't have Aura, you don't have window coverings. That's if you right. don't have shades, we all want our privacy, and this ensures that especially in the digital world. I mean, I'm sitting here right now, and it's this backdrop. It's not my house. This is just something I pulled up. That's how crazy this is. See this the shit you is. can do? That's right. You know what? You can block me. I'm trying to get in your house. Guys, stop data brokers from exposing your personal information. Go to our sponsor. Happy to have them. Aura.com. A-U-R-A. A-U-R-A dot com slash K-L-I-Q. Get your 14-day free trial. See how much of yours is being sold and allow Aura to protect you. Thank you, Aura. How was your trip, by the way, to Louisiana? Pretty rough. Rough trip, rough flight? Um, Saturday around 3 o'clock, uh, had a group come up to my table. They had a special uh, needs kid, uh, male. And um, there was a, a, a guy dressed up as Deadpool, um, but he had a trench coat on and like a fedora. And I assumed that he was with them. So, you know, I you know, spent some time with the kid and we, we took some shots and stuff and signed what he needed to be signed. And then they walked away and the the Deadpool guy is probably, he's standing right in front of me, and he's probably uh, from the end of my table six feet away. So he's like into my table, then six feet, and he's standing there. And he's just standing there with his hands to his side like Michael Myers, and he's just glaring at me. He's totally covered in a mask. Well, you can like, you can kind of see his eyes because mm. the, the 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 eyes of the Deadpool mask are uh, like mesh. Okay. So I can kind of see his eyes, but I can I can see his eyes enough to know that they're not blinking. And so I'm looking at this dude. And it gets to be about forty seconds, and I'm like, "Hey, dude, you okay?" Dude, 
You okay? Now they they have a code in the you know in the con business. I'm not going to say what it is, mm-hmm. but there's a like a, a a word. My handler passes it to the next person, and it means fucked up fan is what it means, right? Well, it means there's we have an there's there's an issue. There's an issue. Okay. So I'm thinking because he's got a trench coat on. So my 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 instinct is, should I just take this table and in one motion flip it up and just just run, like run him over with this fucking table? You know. So I'm just waiting for his his hands to move, and now it's like fucking my spider senses are like. So I'm fucking alpha dog in it. And all of a sudden, the dude went to take a step like away from me. So he just kind of, if he's looking at me like this, he just turns. And as he goes to turn, he just fucking, his, with his hands to his side, never moved his hands. His hands were directly next to his thighs. He fucking face plants. And thousand one, thousand two. There's a fucking pool of blood. Wow. So now let's go back. It was Flair I'll, doing the doing the flop. No, this was Valentine. This, is, this was is, is this isn't funny. This is not fucking funny because he goes into a grand mall seizure. This guy seizes. And, um, like I said, let's go back about an hour and 40 minutes. And a friend of mine was at the show and he was leaving and the show was already, was, it was a slow show. And he says to me, he goes, Hey man, you want to hit this vape? So I'm like, ain't fucking had nothing happened here. So I'm fucking blazed. <laughs> I mean, I am fucking absolutely fucking blazed. And I just, I just fucking just sat there in my chair for the better part of 30 minutes and watched this calamity of waves after wave of people that, like, didn't have, like, I'm a fireman. Yeah, but you're just a volunteer. Like, you don't have, like, nobody's got a blood pressure. Like, they're, And I'm like, I'm, I, and I'm sitting there at my table going, put him on his back. And then they put him on his back, and the guy's like, you know, he's just like a fucking fish out of water. He's having a fucking seizure. I'm like, uh, maybe take his mask off. They left the mask on. All the this mask time. is on this whole time. But the thing was, is when he went into that seizure, that was exactly what happened to T before he went into cardiac arrest. He had a seizure right mm-hmm. dead in front of me like that. So all that fucking goes back through my brain. And I relived that whole fucking episode of my life 16 months ago. So needless to say, fucking beyond buzzkill, but... Then they fi- they finally th- some guy shows up. He's got a wheelchair with fucking gear in it. To, I'm like, who brings a wheelchair to get somebody that's fucking like? I'm I'm like I'm looking at these people. I'm going, is there fucking not an ambulance? I was just going to say in there fucking have Louisiana. To be... Yeah, but what about at the venue with thousands of people? There's always emergency <laughs> personnel. Uh, not at this motherfucker, I guess. Wow. wow! And finally, they 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 get the guy up, and they sit him up, and so I get up out of my chair because now I've you know I've, I've had a half hour to fucking sit here on the grassy knoll and um, like contemplate like everything that fucking happened. Plus I'm stoned, so I'm fucking very analytical because it's sativa. So 
I'm like, okay, the like they went through his shit. He had two phones, uh, but he didn't have um, any weapons. So at this point, I come to the realization of he meant me no harm. Yeah. He just wanted to come and get either a photograph or an autograph and he had from me, and I'm going to be the, like, like I'm the last thing he saw before this fucking thing went down because when he was glaring at me, he was like, "You can like when you start to have a seizure like that, um, you just like you're just frozen, like you don't move mm-hmm. until you know." And then we, he went to like he, he just face planted. So when they they picked the back of it up and the, he he had hit so hard that he basically like tore his nose over to the side mm-hmm. and just, I mean, he was missing teeth. He had a big gash in it, you know? So I, I walked over, I said, dude, I said, I'm so sorry, you know, cause I didn't know what to do because I didn't want him to, you know, I didn't get up and administer aid because all I'm thinking is the, f- the first thing in my mind was, this Glad being, I didn't hit him with the table. No, this is being filmed, and if I touch him and he has any kind of injury, I'm going to get oh. fucking sued. Like I don't know until they until they pull put him up and I see that he's 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 pretty fucked up. Mm-hmm. But you know, you never know in life, man. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You know, and I said, you know, and, and they and they and they pull him away. So for the next fucking thirty minutes. It's I've got people basically in, in hazmat fucking outfits cleaning blood in front of my, my table. Needless to say, I didn't have a real productive fucking Saturday afternoon with blood smeared all over the fucking floor in front. I mean, Where your line starts, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah basically, yeah. In other words, you know. Come over here in the in the back of the fucking Lincoln, and we'll take some fucking photographs as soon as I get Ke- Kennedy's body out of the way. Like Jesus, I'm like motherfucker, man. That you know that that the forward fall that I did when I passed that when I got the the, the cut over here by some miracle I did not go. My head was just the way it was positioned. It was it was turned, and I thought of that so many times. Like if I had gone full force, my fucking nose, teeth, the whole fucking deal. Well, the thing is, so the one thing I, I, I googled, and if you're going to fucking do the crappie, face first is the best way to go. Because your head. Because yeah, you've yeah. got you've got all that soft tissue. You've got you know. Orbital sockets, will fuck, like, you, your nose, your dick, you've got all kind of shit that will break the fall. If it was, that would have been the back of his head. He'd have probably fucking hemorrhaged and died. Good Lord. Yeah, so I mean, so it's, it's one of those things where, you know, <clears throat> life is just like, I mean, it's so bam. So... Yeah, that was my uh, that was my Saturday, and that's the that's usually the better day of the of the two, right? For the, no, by uh, far for the money. I was I you know I had to be out of there at three thirty on Sunday to catch a five fifty five to get home at midnight. All right. All right. Well, um, how about the fucking uh, all the shit about the uh, I don't know what I'm, I'm not. I, into the Royals or any of that shit, but that oh, Kate man. with all the the Photoshop and like yeah, I, I, and then they the, I so I saw the so I saw the uh, explanation on uh, Instagram, and it was a like five year old cover of like Vogue or something that she was on, and they put that into the picture, and then they cut her in half and matched the picture to that picture there and it matched perfectly. So in other words, like it was, it was her whole face that was 
you know, she said she touched up, you know, the kid's hand and the, the dress or whatever. And it was just like, and they were saying it was her whole face. And I, so I'm sitting there and I, so I sent it to my, yeah. Yeah. That's the, the, the picture. Huh. And if you, you know, if you cut it in half and fucking put them side by side, it's supposedly the, the same photograph. But I'm thinking like, who's to say that you didn't take that picture Whoever want, whoever wanted to tell the story, put the Vogue picture in. You know, did the did the edit yourself, right? And then, yeah, and then exactly you know, like that. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Then then just so so I told my because my wife, I, I, I guess women like are into it has that. to be women are into that whole fucking royal shit royal and all stuff. that. You know, they watch. You know. All that Elizabeth, all that all that BBC shit. That, I'm, I'm sorry, man. I just you didn't sit through the Crown. With no, 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 no. And uh, not that it's shit. It's just not anything that I want. I'm sure you know. Not interested. Watching fucking preseason NBA fucking basketball is <laughs> not exactly something most people watch either. But fucking, I'll be up at four o'clock in the morning catching the Lakers. But. uh the uh yeah she she was just i said to her i said i don't understand why now at this point why she doesn't just fucking come out and get get like walk up to a microphone and go i'm fucking fine all right yeah she's like no they don't do that like these she said like the queen would just say man fuck them i'm like but she ain't the queen that's the whole problem like since the queen man like that whole fucking like you just fucking traded like Brady just left the Patriots, the Queen's gone. Fucking, I'm sorry, New England sucks. So, so what's the what, if your wife is following this? What's her take on the uh, on the uh, on the controversy? She I mean, she thinks that she had complications, and you know that she just probably. I mean, people have complications, you know. She just thinks she, she's not. She's just not, because there's pictures of her like profile and shit like that in a in a vehicle. I'm just hoping it's not like that fucking movie Dave, or she had a stroke and they got a fake. Throw one. somebody in there that looks like her. Yeah. I once <laughs> caught a fish this big. <laughs> You have an uncanny uh, memory for <laughs> random lines in bad movies. I love See, that what makes movie. this show different, okay? Like, I, I, Cornette's not covering Kate Middleton no. this week. No, he's not covering Kate. Well, this week, Buck Robley and, and uh, my fucking Kate Middleton. It's not happening. No. no That's the covering. beauty of it. We're covering Kate. Matt Bingo Lingo. We want a free week stay at a resort during Bike Week in Daytona. However, we aren't bikers, but took advantage of the free resort. I love Daytona, but would never stay during Bike Week again. Well, Kevin is right. It's a nightmare doing, or going or doing anything that week. Well, it is finally over, uh, as I saw from uh, OP Live. The, all the crimes being committed were, were not uh, bike uh, in the presence of, of bikes. No, there's no, there's enough. That, that one place that they're over, that, that fucking <laughs> the movie Daytona, theater. yeah, over by that fucking by the racetrack across the street from the racetrack. I mean, I and they and they just built the Costco over there. You told me it's going to be a nightmare. I mean, just what the fuck? I like that little outdoor mall. That a couple of good restaurants I've eaten at there, and I like any kind of like you know they it put just, a little effort into just, something. It just yeah. has drive-by shooting, just kind of just. It's become all that over. a little bit. Yeah, it's it's like. It's the, I blame it on the movie theater. Move the theater, just raise the, the thing and get it out. Be, of. I'm sorry, man, but man, I, I once COVID hit, like the the theater isn't. That's just not even an option anymore. It just became. So, they were talking about like Hollywood, like you know, rebounding. I'm just like, I used to love going to the theater, but just 
now that I can wait fucking four weeks and pay six ninety nine to watch it at my house. If you select certain things, you can get an empty house. There's a theater in Staten Island that I like very much. The reclining leather chairs, and it's a it's a dine in, so they they bring you the food. It's wonderful. And like I saw, they did a three night stint of Queen uh, in Montreal, the concert from 1981 in IMAX. Kevin, it, there were, four, I think, four people in the theater. A, a, a couple in there, it had to be 70s, two rows behind me, and a few, uh, a couple of people down in the row. And me and my, my kids enjoy Queen, so we went to see it. It was a night show. So if you pick your spots. Yeah, but see, that's my, my whole thing, though. So you, you're in there, yeah. and a guy just comes in with an AR-15 and just well, decides to spray the fucking seven of you. There's could be a anywhere. Lot. Could be anywhere, though. I understand that, but I, I know one place it's not going to be is on my couch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what about the gym? You go to the gym, some fucking well, nutso could walk into the gym, yeah, well, angry like, with the curling machine from earlier that day. Yeah, if, I, if I can't get to that duffel bag before he <laughs> gets rounds off, unless, I mean, I'll guarantee I'll drop that motherfucker. Well, you have to be ready. I guess you have to. You need your eyes, uh, uh, your sure. head on a bit of a swivel anywhere you go. Um, which is beautiful. I think that's just. <laughs> I mean, it. it, it well, it's you know, Beirut. It's, it's Beirut, nineteen eighty-two. <laughs> yeah. Armando Gomez. Hey, Kevin. Totally get it, man. You're just not in the headspace to be around people unless you have to. You've been through a lot. It's. It's cool to just keep yourself and those closest to keep to yourself and those closest to you. Never got a chance to meet Scott. Hope to meet you down the road, man. So kind of tying into what we're talking. Well, about. I, I've seen a, a lot of things lately where just like well, he's a curmudgeon, he's a he's a grumpy old dude. I'm sorry, man, but like I grew up like doing the Pledge of Allegiance, and I I joined the military and. There's a certain, uh, I mean, t to me, like all the people in Arlington that, that gave their lives for democracy, and right now we got 50% of this country pissing on Arlington and pissing on democracy and pissing on the fucking, what this country stands for. I'm sorry, man. It, it, it's not a fucking happy time for me. You know, it's 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 to, to watch our country, to to watch Donald Trump have a dictator in Mar-a-Lago, and and have people saying, "Oh, I think maybe a dictator's a good move." Like, <laughs> what? I'm sorry, you know, Trump. I'm sorry you you, you didn't fucking you weren't able to amass the fucking wealth that you wanted to and but man i'm telling you right now putin ain't writing you a check so you know you're gonna have to make your own and well speaking to your uh point about what's going on in the world and whatnot it, do you find if you're off do you ever like just kind of like put down social media for a day or We'll turn off the news, even. Oh, I've, I, I mean, I, like I said, I'm watching Black Mafia Family right now on fucking Stars. I ain't picked up. I don't fucking. I ain't looked at my phone. As soon as it's, it's, it's like somebody said something today. And I was in the gym. And they were just like, "Well, it looks like we got, we got, we got our, uh, you know." They, they, I, they said, "Fuck, I didn't see any." Anything like I, I didn't watch. I didn't see the 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 delegates. You know, one thing I was curious of is why does the Democrats to get that office you have to have like eighteen plus, and for the Republicans you got to have twelve hundred plus uh, delegates. Like, why is there a difference of like six hundred delegates to get the vote? Don't know. I don't know either. I'm sure it'll pop up on the Anybody floor. out there know? It'd be out there a poly science major with some kind of fucking uh, insight. All right. I'm sure it'll pop up. Here we go. Yep. There you see. go. We gave, we gave you a little something there. A little something to 
Oh, uh, Sasha Banks came out at <coughs> AEW if you want to bring it up. That's, that's What's that? Uh, Sasha Banks came out at e- AEW if you want to bring it up. So uh, where, where, When was that? Uh, I guess just now. <coughs> so. Oh. I, I was looking to see the delegate vote. Uh, I saw something pop up. I, I looked down, and, and it was it was this. So she walked out on t- tonight? Yeah, I, I think just moments ago. 809. Sorry, Wesley. I guess you had that uh, taped. Taped? You're taping it? This is the big Boston show. What was the turnout there? Do we know? It's the, it's the big house in Boston, right? They're, they're running there. I don't know. They we'll got to run it. the T. Almost run eight. The, okay. 8,000 at the Garden? TD. Yeah, TD. America. This is TV, oh. man. Fuck. What's that thing hold? 15? For basketball? Probably, yeah. I it's would say. Gotta hold, the... It's got to hold. It's got to hold fucking 15 for fucking. For, for a little grappling TV. Oh, the tweet. Moved fifteen hundred tickets. Wow. All right, seventy eight hundred before the tweet, and then fifteen hundred immediately after. Meltzer says, as of right now, nine ninety three hundred for the gate. All right, AEW. That's a good. That's a that's putting a good ass together. Yeah, not bad. Uh, pseudonym eighteen twenty one Jack Lambert. Believe it or not, is a game commissioner in southwestern PA. My father's a hunter and bumps into him every uh, once every few years. Pretty reclusive dude. Imagine not that. that reclusive. He's bumping into him. Yeah. <laughs> hey, watch it. Oh, hey, Jack. But you can. I guess you, you you can be well if you're out in the the wild as the game warden. You uh, or game commissioner. You're by yourself most of the time. That was because we brought him up in the dead or alive. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, what if it, what if it's just he. he Maybe it's board games. Maybe oh, he's a board. commissioner like for Monopoly or Sorry yeah, something or some like shit. That. Oh, like board games. Well, yeah, you can't be a you can't be reclusive if you're gonna pass go and collect two hundred dollars. So, Kevin, let's do another dead or, dead or alive. Five names. Uh, just because he brought this up, let's throw another one out there. Five names. Dead or alive. Right. John Amos. Oh, he might be one of the oldest living actors. I'll say alive. They're alive. You're correct. Treat Williams. Dead. Correct. I Rodney King. Bloods. Dead. Correct. Dick Van Dyke. Alive. Correct. Joe Biden. Uh, Not sure. As uh, State of the Union. Alive. <laughs> al- alive. I mean... I don't know what he's so fucking angry about. <clears throat> fucking quit yelling at me and please don't have the fucking, please, please don't. <laughs> the GOPs, do me a favor, man. Like, don't write Saturday Night Live's opening skit for him as your rebuttal. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what, right. What the <laughs> fuck, man? How about, this is my favorite thing, Okay. Her husband's an ex NFL player. Mm-hmm. All right? Big old fucking dude. I just wanted to say that everyone at the kitchen table is, we're hurting. America's hurting. Stardust and Ron Chod are two children. Like, number one, you make 156 k as a senator. Your old man made coin, and you don't name your kids like they're Yorkshire Terriers if you're middle class. So, number one, shut the fuck up, okay? And she will not rebound from that, but then again, I can't say that because Green showed up. She looked like some fucking drunk at a fucking minor league baseball game at the fucking state of the... What a fucking... Ugh. She wore her campaign garb, which, of course, you're not supposed to do. But Say your name! Whatever. Yeah, cunt. Kevin, let me tell you something about uh, spring cleaning. When I mention spring cleaning, I bet you don't think about Manscaped. I do. But, but you do? Okay, well, fantastic. 
I'm a lesser man. This season, make sure to groom your carpets and the drapes. With the leaders in the the below-the-waist grooming game, clear out that winter bush with Manscaped. The Lawnmower 5.0. Watch your confidence bloom like the springtime flowers. Embrace the season and join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped. That is no joke. And don't forget, we have a special offer for you, okay? That's the manscaped.com code CLICK, K-L-I-Q, for 20% off and free shipping. Um, you know, I have to say, now that I, I, I'm, I'm a Manscaped guy, so I have I have caught spring fever. This season's champ is the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. Their fifth-generation trimmer It features two interchangeable next-gen skin-safe blade heads, a standard one for taking a little off the top, and a new foil blade to go smooth. Get it all whenever the heart desires, okay? You hate making a mess? Don't worry. The bad boy's waterproof. Shave in the shower, the bath, the ocean, for Christ's sake, if you want. Spring cleaning doesn't just apply to the nether regions. Get the full grooming experience with Manscaped Signature Beard Hedger Pro Kit. That's Kevin's favorite. Plus the handyman electric face shaver. Guys, get your 20% off free shipping Code is CLICK, K-L-I-Q, at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with code CLICK, K-L-I-Q, at manscaped.com. Nothing like a little spring cleaning in your pants. And don't forget, you can be part of the live audience here every week, too. If you go to clickthistv.com for only $9.99 a month. You can be a lot more comfortable if you you trim your bush. Absolutely. While you sit here and, and, and watch us, you can do I've I, noticed, I bet the ladies I've, can use it. Why can't the ladies use it? They absolutely. can use it, right? I've I'm noticed sure I've, I've noticed that, that if you if you keep your 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 sack and everything trimmed down, much less stickage and and uh, package going on down there. I'm not digging around, you know. There's nothing worse than when your balls stick to the inside of your legs. There's just nothing, especially like on a plane or something. Oh. And you're just like, and, and the, you got a woman next to you. You're like, Ugh. you know, when you're wearing like the loose, loose sweats and and like loose, uh, and, you gotta, and, you, and you get a ball you gotta, that's you, you sit gotta, on your ball. Yeah, and you got to dig, but you got to do like the fucking a bagoda, fucking deep, <laughs> deep fucking eighty year old man dig and fucking pull your whole separate fucking, things. Yeah, yeah, hold your yeah, pull your whole unit over and kind of fucking like a toss salad, you know, just kind of. <laughs> throw it around a little bit to let it, let, it, let it settle. Well, first you try that. You know, you go a little wider with the legs, get a little movement. No dice. It's, no. it's totally stuck. Then you try to get the pendulum action going. Nothing. But then when it slips behind and you sit down, you sit on your balls every once in a while. Oh, my God. Is there anything worse? You must have a set of bulldog balls oh on my you. Oh, God. I, I got, I got, I, st- I still train heavy enough where I got glutes. So if my glutes keep my balls off. Keep you. <laughs> yeah, I give me to the, get to the gym. Give me, so the, the, give, me the, my... give me some. Give me some clearance. That's so great. I should, I should go tomorrow and get, say yes. Uh, go down to Planet Fitness. <laughs> I'd like to take advantage of the five dollar a month thing. I'm tired of yeah, sitting on my balls. My balls. Can yeah. you, can you have me do some Bulgarian lunges? Let's, let's start with legs today. Oh my God. Um. I saw that uh, Triple H. Te- well, first I saw Logan Paul teasing a LeBron James thing. Well, this is not going to happen, right? I mean, this is. But Triple H tweeted. Um, let me see what the exact quote was. After he saw Logan Paul's tease of wanting to take on at SummerSlam, wanting to take on. Um, I like the fact that his brother's taking on Tyson. What, what was his quote? It was very funny. So he tweets this out, and then Paul writes back. Somebody find this so I can bring up the... Oh, okay. So he goes, we've got big plans for SummerSlam's big return to Cleveland this year. P.S. Logan Paul, we'll need to iron out those details a bit. So um, I don't think this was an authorized uh, tweet when Logan Paul sent that out. Um, he's, I mean, he's still playing for the Lakers. Not that, not that people, I guess, haven't. Not that athletes had. Would never. What, 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 please tell me the upside when you've been babying a bad foot for fucking two seasons of going out with, so you can slip on that, that prime logo. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Absolutely. Man. Somet- I mean- sometimes I just you know, I might be grumpy, but fucking man, just. 
Don't be so fucking stupid, man, that I just got to throw the uncle flag on every fucking play. It's like, you know, it's, it's almost like fucking... I, I'm like the guy that, that's that's watching the offensive line. If I want to throw the fucking holding flag, I can on every play. Like, don't make fucking life this easy for me. Just, you know, fuck, come on. Maybe he was a fan as a kid of and had what? a dream to headline a wrestling paper. LeBron loved wrestling, man. Shit. That motherfucker turned down ten million from Reebok out of high school. He ain't no fucking wrestling fan. <laughs> what about athletes that have in the past participated? Right? Who do you think did well? We have uh, Rodman. Uh, of all of them, the best worker was Lawrence Taylor, I think. Of the guys that I was actually, you know, a part of the fucking, you know, promotion. Mm-hmm. Were you there when Malone was there in uh, WCW? Yeah. I wasn't too impressed with him. And um, Especially after I found out he was a pedophile. How do you get the fucking... Like, I, working on Sean's book, we did, we covered the Kevin Green stuff, right? Which you were also there for. He was okay. Green was, Green was good. But if I recall that chapter correctly... You didn't fly up to, you didn't fly up to do the training, right? They wanted to go over the, <laughs> wanted to go over the match at the yeah. power plant. Yeah, but I think that was in my. That somebody was in, wasn't there. That was in my prime, and then he's. Uh, how many times is he going to change his story about going to Sting's match? Fuck you! I'm a lazy prick. How about that? How about fuck you? What don't you get about? I don't want to do nothing. <laughs> oh god god fucking <laughs> suck it do me a favor man open your mouth and let me let me take a tongue depressor and just jam my cock and my balls in your mouth okay just fuck off i'll do i, I don't have to do shit no you don't like fuck man but they did bring kevin green up to the um and Scott Hall and, and fucking Scott Xbox and Ken, uh, folks. Sean and yeah, and they went over the match and worked it all out. And yeah, and all those fucking, you know, all those fucking football tackles that he did. Boy, I wish I could have took those a three, three or four dozen more times for free the week prior because they would have fucking that definitely would have fucking made made the match so much better. Do you um? I guess the gate is worth it, right? To to go through to go through this with with an with a non wrestler and have to. Ha, st- not for me, obviously. <laughs> no, not for you. <laughs> I'm from a company standpoint to put J- Jay Leno in a ring. Oh fuck that! At that point, it was just that. that you know, there was one of the one of the guys today. I, one of the, the not today, but I, I I was reading some of the comments because I knew we were going to do the show, and he was just like, Bobby Heenan said that Bill Goldberg should have never got beat, and he should have been two thousand and oh. I'm like, well, we were all there, and they were booing. Like if we'd go to the Northeast, they were booing Bill. You know, like, like there, it wasn't like all of a sudden it was like, you know, we have to beat Bill. It was just like the Bill's starting to be the Yankees. Right. Yeah. And you have to change it up. Yeah. Yeah. Bill's starting to be the Yankees. And even though the Yankees got a, you know, I got a great team. I think people want the Yankees. People wanted the fucking nope. Nobody wanted the, the uh, Patriots to beat the, the, the Dolphins fucking record. So. But um, but in regards to like the Jay Leno stuff and the yeah, but you'd want to talk about what killed the fucking WCW with the finger poke. Jay, you know? Jay Leno fucking get one of the fucking I think he had Dallas in an arm bar. Like, no, really? I remember it. Like you're gonna tell me fucking Jay Leno's gonna get you an arm bar? Yeah, I again it, is the gate the gate's worth it, right? The the well, there the was no game. Buys. It was fucking Sturgis. Buys. 
Yeah, it was Sturgis. It's just like, number one, that was a fucking shit show. Mm. I remember we did a fucking battle royal in Sturgis, and I stood over the top rope. It was Hogan. There you go. It was Hogan. There it is. Look at that. Has him on his knees, Kevin. That image forever uh, ingrained in history. Anyway, go ahead, Sturgis. Oh, I, we did. We had a, a, a battle royal, and I fucking like I, I, st- I stood over the fucking top rope and fucking just stepped down. You left. <laughs> Fuck this. Like they were throwing shit. I'm like, fuck this. Was that a house show? No, Sturgis. Was fucking At the pay per view. Yeah. Oh, I have so, to look this somebody up. looked at looked that up and watched me fucking just. Oh my like, god. I want to hear the, the call. Who was it? Bishop? Who was it? Who was oh, calling? I, I, I wouldn't have been probably. I, I'm sure nobody called it because they probably went like, what the fuck? Kevin Ash has had it. He doesn't want to uh, smell the exhaust anymore. That's enough of that shit. <laughs> Was it the it smell of uh, uh, 5,000 bike exhaust or the sound of the revving engine? I think that it was... was more the fact that we were staying in a quality inn. Why? Na- name a time in your life when you stayed at a quality inn. Why, though? Because we were in... St- that's, what, that's, that's all they had. Yeah, it's like Custard, Rapid City. It's... All right, might this be the clip? I doubt it. That looks like... You look alone in the ring, actually. It's kind of the opposite of a battle royal. Good God, that was... What was the attendance? I wonder what the attendance was on that. How did you... Because it was... um... It wasn't... uh... It was was like general admission. It was... was, was They just came in. It was brutal. They fucking threw... Remember, they fucking threw some... Bottle and fucking hit Scott Norton with it, and it was like. It's because he was part of that promo with um, with Berserker. Maybe they remembered that, and uh, now I got a clear shot at him. Right, exactly. They had to wait a while, but they got yeah. it. 30, 30, 30 years. Yeah, no, I. <laughs> you know, and it's the, the. They were down here. You know, the, the bikes were down here. And so I was going, Friday, I was going to the airport. So I figured the beach road, all right, they're going to be on the beach road. So I go down A1A, which is Ridgewood. And I'm thinking, like, they they have to realize that there's people, you know, there's 750,000 people in this metropolitan area that still have to function. We still have shit we have to do. And so they're driving, like, hmm. across both lanes at 20 miles an hour. Mm-hmm. And I got a plane to catch. So they're fucking around. So I, I, I've got that, that fucking Mustang, so I got to punch it and shoot in front of some a couple of them. And, you, you know, they're, oh, the motherfucker, you know. Number one, the fact that I just said, fuck you. But the thing was, my mirror never fucking went off that I was too close to anybody. Like, if you go in, like, if I pull over, like, if there's a car or something there. So, I pull up and he's fucking this, this. So, now I'm, I'm, I'm going to turn left on Bevel Road to go up to Nova to go to the airport. And uh, so, this... Big fat fucker that's driving a a trike because he's obviously too fucking fat to balance himself on a normal bike. He, I guess he's their fucking sergeant in arms, you know. He's going to come up and fucking, you know, read me the fucking riot act because I'm some young kid in this, you know, fucking Mustang. So he does roll up to you at the light? Yeah, so he rolls up to me, but he can't, he has to get, he has to get in the fucking left hand. There's two lanes that turn. There's a right and a left. He has to get in the left in order to fucking con- converse with me at my, in my, 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 you know, in my car and, and because I'm driving. So 
he pulls up and he says, "Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah hey, motherfucker, you, you, yeah, you cut them, them, cut them people off." So I nonchalantly put my fucking window down, and I said, "You know," I said, "If you'd fucking, if all had gotten in the right hand lane and drove 20 miles an hour." And let traffic fucking. I said, I wouldn't have to do that. I said, I have a plane to catch. I said, I didn't come close to anybody. I said, I understand you're on vacation. I'm glad you're spending money down here. But I'm not going to miss my flight because a bunch of you fat fucks can't fucking drive bikes. I said, you know. Was he satisfied with that? Well, then the light changed, so I fucking I pushed it, and I just p- pushed around the corner and took my took my left. Now he realizes that his people went straight, and he's now stuck in the turn lane, and he's got to go down and turn back around and find his crew. Oh, because he had to go in there to talk to you, so he yeah, ended up order, sitting in the wrong yeah. lane. Yeah, and it, I think it I just it completely it. fucked him up that this older fucking this 60 year old fucking as as they say on the show grumpy motherfucker but see i don't yell at people if you don't yell if you don't if 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 they're like raising their voice if you matter of factly talk to people they don't they don't know how to take that everybody wants to be completely combative mm and I've always said, you know, I learned at a young age, you never argue with somebody you're not going to punch in the face. So don't argue with a woman. Don't argue with an old person. And don't argue with somebody that's some fat ass on a motorcycle if you've got a flight to catch. Because if i got to get out of my car and beat this guy's ass or fucking blow his brains out, it's. I'm not going to make my flight, and yeah. I've already packed my bags. That was enough of a fucking hassle for the day. <laughs> so it's just like, let's let me fucking go, all right? And then he realized, you know, I didn't flip him off, didn't do anything. He just realized, like, uh, that didn't work out too well for me. So if you're out there, from that you big fat fuck from Pennsylvania. I also will fucking ask you, please, would you fucking cock your neck back at the dentist table, uh, dentist chair, and let me tuck my cock and balls down your throat with a tongue depressor. The tongue depressor. Do the, do the arch. Uh, arch, baby, you fat fuck. I did a double take at the uh, Robert Kennedy Jr.'s VP shortlist, and uh, apparently it was said by him, um, Aaron Rodgers... You know, they share similar views on vaccinations, Kevin. And Jesse Ventura. He's considering for his VP selection for the uh, independent party, uh, third party run. That's a hell of a lot better than fucking Trump with Tucker Carlson and fucking Marjorie Green. Yeah. But so. um, it was, uh, I, I wondered for a moment, now just for a moment, the last time a third party had had any significant numbers probably Ross Perot maybe? Ross Perot right Ross Perot Ross Perot had enough n- enough numbers to fucking cost old man Bush his fucking his nomination yeah it was probably I'm guessing it was I mean well 10 percent maybe if even but still I want to think for some reason the number 12 okay so 12%. all right so right around there maybe yeah but um I you know there's some things that Kennedy says that are, you know, I mean, like anybody else, man, you know, you say enough shit, sooner or later you'll see something that's kind of smart. And, uh, you know, some of his viewpoints, I mean, when he goes into the whole fucking, uh, the U.S., uh, 
when they basically told him, you know, to tear the wall down, they said, and they made some fucking arrangements where NATO wouldn't grow, and then NATO grew, and before you knew it, they said, don't put Ukraine in NATO, and then you, they started talking Ukraine. Then Russia basically had to make a move because they didn't have any, any ports besides that port in Ukraine that fucking didn't freeze. So when you listen to all this, this, this geopolitical fucking jargon that that Kennedy's thrown out, it's like, it's like watching, when I was watching that thing the other, the, a couple of weeks ago on CNN about fucking us in Iran, you know, it's just like, fuck, we, we caused more fucking shit, you know, and then fucking try to backpedal like we, like, oh, no, 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 I wasn't there. Like, come on, guys, fuck, you know. Well, uh, by the way, uh, Ross Pro 19%. Wow. Though no electoral votes, but still 19% of the vote, which was uh which was is really remarkable in today's uh today's I remember I, I I remember I had a Ross Perot um bumper sticker <laughs> on my Cadillac. You were a Ross Perot guy. No, I was a Clinton guy. I figured they they, they were going to take him fucking from the old man. Oh, so just I, let him. Oh, right, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> You know, <clears throat> you, you know, in, Baba. <laughs> you were in uh, you were in Arizona at the time, or, or no? I was in Georgia. Georgia, right? Atlanta. So uh, Jesse's quote sounds like he's down for this. He says, "We must end the duopoly of Republican and Democrat control in Washington. Electing a third party or independent candidate for president would be a major kickstart to that process. But in order to do that, you have to have ballot access." So, I mean, it sounds like he would answer the call. I loved listening to uh, I just have to say that obviously Aaron Rodgers' fucking uh, Achilles isn't healing quite as. I was going to well, say he's, well he's ready he, to start for the fucking well, Jets in four well months. Is he, yeah, that doesn't say much for his Achilles. So I guess, I guess, uh, I guess those jerseys are the only. Uh, I guess the jerseys in the crowd are the only uh, Aaron Rodgers jerseys you're going to see on a, a giant state or MetLife Stadium. I did like listening to. Did you catch Robert Kennedy Jr. on um, Bill Maher? Bill Maher talking about the the Kennedy stuff in regards to LBJ and uh, all the stuff he heard when he was young. That the skullduggery inside the White House. I love that shit. The uh, it's the Spacey series, for God's sakes, come to life. That series there, that their With series, the, House the, of Cards, the, yeah, yeah. Um, would you vote for a, a third party candidate, or do you feel like it's still wasting? A I vote? think it's a waste of vote. Yeah. I mean, to me, it's one of those things where number one, like with the gerrymandering and everything else. I mean, does your fucking vote really even, you know? Does anybody's vote really fucking matter? Well, I mean, if enough people say that, then no, they don't. But if enough well, people that, do, well, I mean, you really think that this fucking, I mean, this, this election, I think this should be like uh, Mardi Gras, St. Patty's Day, New Year's Eve, like all put together is the last, this could be the last time <laughs> we fucking do this thing. This is uh, or democracy that, implode. This is that fucking movie with fucking uh, Leo DiCaprio with the fucking uh, the meteor coming in. We're all sitting at the fucking table. Yep, waiting. Yeah, you know, waiting for that motherfucker to. But maybe this election, since I mean, you're you're echoing my sentiments here. This maybe could be the year for a third party. No. No. I don't think so either, but it was interesting. Oh, so, fucking, I mean, interesting yeah, to consider. I, I, it seems to me like, yeah, and I really don't think that that. Um, I've said one of the things I said that I said that CNN was kind of in the middle, and the the guy put like three like laughing faces. I'm thinking like, okay, so there's really only th three cable stations that get any kind of traction. 
For news, you mean? For news, Fox, yeah. CNN, and MSNBC, yeah. Yeah, so be, and of those three, CNN is more in the middle than... More than MSNBC, it, yeah, for sure. Fact, the other two are just, I mean, it's, you know, wag the, if I can wag the dog, it's just, I mean, it, it, so... And again, if you're talking about the new the news desk broadcast, there are commentators that come on and give their slanted entertainment type uh, conversation, their takes on things. But we're just talking about news desk. Uh, yeah, if I had to take somebody that was delivery. was was more, and it's left leaning. Sp- there's no question. Yeah, I mean, but my sensibilities would be more John Stewart than anybody else. Which is an interesting point now because. Is that news? Is it entertainment? Is it a take on news? It's a commentator, no, right? It's. I think that that's, as we talked about in, in, uh, last episode, that's an editorial. Correct. That's not the news. That's some. That's somebody's opinion. And Who was it what, that you said would turn to the to the camera? It, it was wasn't Bill, Cronkite, right? No, it was Bill Bonds from from Detroit. Oh, did you, the Detroit? Yeah, guy. the Detroit guy. He'd be he'd be like this, and he'd go. And now, <laughs> and underneath it would say editorial Bill Bonds. <laughs> right. See, there were there was uh, Reagan when I was talking to former Governor Jim McGreevy a couple of weeks ago. He mentioned that under Reagan, they got rid of the it was called the the fair time doctrine or the equal time doctrine where. If you were presenting one point of view uh, on a news program, something that would be considered a news program, you had to give equal time. I was like, that's where the old point counterpoint started. Right. And when that went out the window, I guess it was, uh, it would have been an FCC monitored thing. And then when Reagan. And that had to have been 77? No, Reagan didn't get in until 80. 80, right. But they used to say, they used to do the point counterpoint. Because uh, Ackroyd used to always do it with Jane Kurt, and he'd say, Jane, you ignorant slut. Right. And they go to the point counterpoint. But the counter- counterpoint would have been equal time, right? Yeah. Right. So, but, so under Reagan, they got rid of the, the equal time uh, right. requirement for, for n- televised news. I still think, news. Like, like, to me, was, as soon as they got rid of the. Uh, I think it used to be fifteen hundred dollars was the most that you could pledge to a candidate. Like once they started the super PACs and all this other shit, it's just right. like, I mean, it's just like how many? I forget what they say now. The the amount of billions of dollars it costs to buy a presidency. Right. So. Well, that, I mean, that's another hot hope, topic to ho- talk ho- about. Yeah, the hopefully, ch- hopefully, hopefully, Chubb will. Uh, <clears throat> Won't spend all their money uh, paying for uh, Citizen Trump's uh, fines. Citizen Trump. Um, can have a new a segment citizen. today. Let's try a new segment. Uh, what do you well, say? Yeah, look, well, he, it with, depends. With trepidation, <laughs> he says. Well, we'll put the tap out on hold. I want to tell everybody that uh, that our segment, Judge Sexy, you might have heard of Judge Judy, but this is Judge Sexy. Oh. And it's going to be brought to you by Blue Chew, by the way. And everyone knows Blue Chew and loves Blue Chew. God, what a, what a gift to the world. There was a time when you had any performance anxiety, if you had anything that might have held you back from being able to perform. Unbelievable. You just had to deal with it. Today, that hurdle is leapt handily. Yeah, the the bone up or go or go go home is is gone. You Absolutely. Just... Uh, listen, you don't know what it is. You live under a rock. Well, Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night. Plan ahead. Be ready whenever the opportunity arises. The process is simple. We want you to go to bluechew.com. Consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and best part, it's all done online. If you're approved, you get your prescription right there, boom, and it arrives in your mailbox in discreet packaging. No visits to a doctor's office, no awkward conversations, no waiting in line at the pharmacy, and Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA, prepared, and shipped directly to your door. And trying it out has never been easier 
They want to help you have better sex, guys. So discover your options at BlueChew.com. Just chew it and do it. Special deal, try it for free. When you take our promo code NASH at checkout, put it in the box, just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code NASH, to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank BlueChew for sponsoring the broadcast. All right, Judge Sexy. Some body cam footage from police officers. We'd like you to render your judgment Who's at fault? Should there be a, a, a sentence given? Guilty or innocent? Now, here's a young lady. Um, here's some body cam footage of a young lady at the beach. I'm, I'm sensing it's Daytona just from from the charges. Is this the masturbation one? It might be. It might be. You caught that, I guess? <laughs> I, I, I think I saw that. Let's see. Is there anything I... in the bag? No. Is it right if I look through? I mean, if you can open it and can I see the contents inside the bag? Yes. Okay. I don't. I don't really understand what y'all are. We're, I... we're just here because someone called and we're just this very concerned. Is, yeah. Okay. This and... is really highly offensive to me. I, I got it. I got you. And that's why I'm trying to figure it's it a, out. It's my yeah. vibrator, but I just put it in my. I was sitting on the beach, and I just, just. Okay. okay do I need? Do I get a ticket? <laughs> so so, you did have a vibrator. Listen, I was sitting on the water like this, and I just put it in there, and it was covered up, and I just had an orgasm. I'm sorry. I was stressed out. I, I got it? you. Okay. Just hang tight for me. I'm sorry. Nobody saw me. I was in the I water. Okay, someone, if that's, this is anonymous, call I mean, if nobody saw them, they wouldn't have called, right? Call if nobody saw it. Ma'am, please, so. don't do this to me. Are you serious? So. A family saw it. They had kids. What? Are you, there was nobody around me. So, so there it is. Um, she was stressed, first of all. I would just like you to consider that, Judge Sexy, uh, when you render whether this is a crime, this should be, uh, should she be locked up, should she be fined? Um, where do we stand on this here? Well, And she put it in the water, which is impressive. It must be a, a waterproof uh, oh, yeah, uh, deal. That's, that's, that's very common. It's not the wand, Baba. Yeah, no. Uh, I, I think you have to t take her away j just for, for the lack of judgment. You know? Like, just... Why would you go down to the water... <laughs> to to conceal it i think was the thing that as opposed to like sitting on the fucking ground right between those two chairs where she nobody could have saw shit maybe a sensation maybe the sensation of the water would would have uh, increased the intensity i don't know i mean are you really going to know how much you how much you're coming if you're sitting in the ocean i mean you're going to get this uh, you're going <laughs> uh, to get the contraction but i mean you're not going to get the uh, i don't know is is um is it hot in any way or, or or is it what is it hot is is that a hot thing that she was so uh driven that she had to do this on the no, beach no she's public? actually she has to be somebody that's completely oversexed to have a vibrator in her beach bag anyway so it was i'm going to go on uh if i was a judge i would yes. i would look at that and say that the fact that you packed a vibrator in your beach bag shows me that it was premeditated. Guys, I, I have to cut in. Uh, yes. This woman, she was arrested in July of 2021 for indecent exposure. Right. And then she, she killed herself on March 22. Oh, Jesus Christ. So I think we should probably, might possibly scrub the whole segment. It's a good what? concept. I think we need to <clears throat> follow up on the videos, I guess. Now I have to see how many of the defendants killed themselves for Judge Sexy. Well, well, it sounds like it sounds. So, whoa, whoa, wait, wait! She was arrested when? Twenty twenty one, July first, twenty twenty one, for indecent for exposure, and then and on herself. March, March of twenty two. So how many? Did, so what was the what was the, the time difference? Eight eight months, nine months. No, you wouldn't give headline, her the headline. Woman penalty. who used adult toy on beach found dead in an apartment. Okay. 
All right. Probably electrocuted. It was it definitely suicide. I mean, she's putting these things in water. All right. Well, well there's the feel good segment of the afternoon. <laughs> Sorry. So March Madness is upon us. <laughs> and uh Today, today's fucking show, from the moment I logged on, has felt like playing handball with a noodle. It's just not coming back to me. <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> we last year kicked off the March Madness of Florida Man and Jersey Guy, and um, to great fanfare. So, what do we do? So, there's two brackets. There's the Jersey bracket. There's the Florida bracket on two separate sides. And then we will have a winner from each territory that will square off for the best for the Jersey best of. segment. And, uh, yeah, this is pretty much a best of. So, this is, uh, this is round one. So, there are certainly the most number of games here. There's eight uh, contestants on each side so that we will have an even tournament so there's eight jersey stories uh eight florida stories so four games today on each side let's start with the first one kevin who do you give it to for this is the jersey bracket first i have to go on record again saying i fucking hate this okay you loved it after we got out of the first round the the first round is a little tedious it's yeah it's it's uh i want to go back to the fucking girl on the beach yeah (laughs) She's not there for you anymore. Yeah, I, I, I think I want to join her. <laughs> In the apartment, you mean, nine months later? Yeah. Oh, God. I'll have whatever she's having. Uh, all right. Um, guy uses summons to wipe butt, then throws it at cop, versus man sent ride share to pick up 14-year-old girl for sex. Which is the most Jersey of that. Okay, summons. Summons. Steve, record these results. Next game. Got to get through this quick before Kevin logs off. Man caught smoking, watching porn, and touching himself on Remy's Ratatouille adventure in Epcot versus homeowner calls cops on Bob Dylan mistaken for homeless man. What did this first guy do eight months later? Yeah, well, apparently we can't have the segment if, if he went, went on to off himself. Oh, <clears throat> I'll go with Bob Dylan. All right. Just because it's Bob Dylan. <clears throat> you have to, right? How many a- times a- are we going to have Bob Dylan the, in it? After the We Are the World, I mean, I just anything Bob Dylan. Pair arrested after child found living in house with 30 dead dogs versus man charged with decapitating 74-year-old mother. Now, you remember that story? He was laying atop her. And singing when he was discovered. I'm going to go with uh, I'm, I, 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 as horrible as it is with the with the deceased uh, canines. It's yeah. uh, some about decapitated mom laying on top of her and singing. It's a little bit uh, too dark. Yeah. Okay. It, so we're going to go with the dogs. No, um, I'm going with I'm going with oh. the I'm going with the fucking oh the dead mom the decapitated uh, yeah, mom. I'm going yeah. Oh okay. All right. <clears throat> Uh, all right, last game in the Jersey division here this week. Man pointed gun at six-year-old who left candy on his porch for Halloween versus 76-year-old man arrested for living with sister's remains. I'm going to go remains. Okay. All right, let's head to Florida now, the Florida division. Four games here. First one, man shoots his mom and daughter after allegedly revealing his desire to date his teen daughter versus man wearing underwear around neck to protect his face found prowling near $7,000 bonsai tree theft. One. Okay. Uh, Next game, woman sues Hershey over Reese's peanut butter Pumpkins not being cute, like on the packaging, versus man killed after putting child he thought was possessed into fire and striking deputy with a rod. I'm going to say <laughs> throwing somebody into a fire. Yeah. Florida's game is strong this year. The yeah, Florida they, they, division they, they, is where the competition yeah, is. It's, it's, 
It always uh, is. Next game, man bludgeons father to death after learning he got the vaccine. And man arrested for pooping on a dead possum during rush hour traffic. I'm going to say the fact that you went and got a vaccine so you wouldn't get COVID and die and then were And then got killed by your son. By your son for it. I think that's... Amazing. Very, I, but I did hear that, that, that the, the guy that was being charged is the, the, uh, if RFK and uh, Aaron Rodgers get it into office, they're going to, they're going to free him. So He gets, a, uh, he gets yeah. granted a, a yeah. clemency. Or, yeah, um, free, free the prisoner. Uh, and then the final game in the Florida division, man blames voodoo after impregnating 13-year-old girl. And man tried to circumcise two-year-old cousin while babysitting. Huh. Two, uh, fuck, man. That, that circumcision one. That, uh, I would take him out, put his head on an anvil, and strike it with a 25-pound fucking sledgehammer. So I'm going to go with him. That's pretty Florida right there. All right. There it is. Kevin, that was painless. Round one? I, mean, I Just to, to actually have to visualize each and every one of those just was... All right, the high spot of the show, Kevin, brought to you by our friends Mickey Ray Sinatra and Courtney. Yes. And their Get Blitzed Lit Aid. God bless them. That's right. I, I got three key limes in the mail. Did you start rocking them yet? You know I did, brother. <laughs> What the hell is nano-infused? Are you asking that? That's a fine question. I'm going to tell you and straighten that out for you. Nano-infused Delta 9 Nano-infused is, is, nano-infused is 16 episodes of BMF. <laughs> <laughs> That's what nano-infused is. You just kept rolling, huh? Just kept rolling, Sipping baby. and rolling. Sipping and rolling. Do it like the big dog does, man. Make yourself a little... A little uh, tea, prime. a little bit of prime. Oh, you did the prime fine. Is that the, get a thumbs up? I did the pri- prime lemon lime with the uh, key lime. Home run. The only thing, the only thing missing was if I would have had movie, like theater grade ice. You know that movie theater ice? That oh god, that stuff's perfect. The Go ahead. ice, the, literally the ice. I that think they put I think on the com- I think on the on the commercial the the ice they have is that. That that ice will. Oh, and we, the get blitzed commercial. Yeah, watch, here, so. watch. Yeah. They, they pretty. I'm, I'm pretty sure when they show the ice, it's that that high quality ice. Well, you could get uh, a ton of stuff from our friends at Get Blitzed, but we are talking about that syrup, the THC sip and syrup. Uh, nano-infused, what does it mean? It means it goes right to your bloodstream, bypasses breakdown on the liver, works like alcohol. Uh, it's a tolerance killer. This is not gas station Delta 8 bullshit. It's the real deal, guys. It's THC Delta 9, the THC that you get from marijuana. If you're in Maryland, you can buy this at a stay-lit smoke shop. But for the rest of us, totally legal. Ship it right from the Get Blitzed website to all 50 states without a med card, as long as you're over 21. And right now you could save 15% by entering the code Code click K L I Q at checkout. Go to get hyphen blitzed.com. That's get dash B L I T Z E D. There's the ice you're talking about, That's by the it, way. Baby. Um, and try the Delta 9 THE sip and syrup lit aid for God's sake from get blitzed. Get dash I got, I got this shit down. I got this shit down to a science. I bet you do. No, they do. I mean, they got oh, that, they do. Yeah, I look at that. Whew. I mean, I, if I could have that ice, it'd be it'd, it'd, like a next level. That'd be like actually landing on the moon. There you go. Get blitzed. And uh, we thank them for sponsoring us uh, every week here. Don't uh, Ask Nash. It's hashtag Ask Nash. It's been quite a ride. Um. Uh, hashtag Ask Nash. That's how you can do this. You can be a part of this, folks, every week right here. Like Big Sexy Fan. Wonder why he's writing us or she's writing us. Says, um, at the age uh, of at the age of 64, is there anything left on your bucket list? Love your podcast. Maybe you want to get in the ring one more time like Tyson at 64. How old is Tyson? 50... Maybe he's 53 or 4, maybe. Okay. 
All right, I don't but know, man. I, still? I, I, I watch him work out, man. 57. Now you mean work out I like, now? Dude, I love when I do that when, <clears> when <throat> Steve like throws up a graphic and I read it like I, I all of a sudden got, had clarity. 57. 54. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. 57. Make that 57, yes. As I can fucking <laughs> read two, 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 two numbers. Well, listen, any, any of the greats, Johnny Carson, Howard Stern, somebody writing stuff for them, too, and cluing them in. So listen, so you've seen him work out. You think at 57 we're going to see shades of the old Tyson. If I had to pick one of those two to fight, it sure as fuck would not be Mike Tyson. Right. Wow. I mean... Tyson looks like he's he's just one of those guys, man, that just he went through a lot of shit. Uh, yeah, I mean, fucking his footwork and ah, <laughs> oh, fuck that, man. How'd you like to be that motherfucker that's got a spar with him? Good God, oh, fuck! How'd you like to be fucking Paul taking a fucking body? Ain't nobody. Well, hit, it, yeah, he's ain't getting nobody like twenty million dollars. This guy ain't. <laughs> Can't spend it when you're dead, I guess. You ain't fucking wearing that. <laughs> that that fucking. He's got a protector on everything else. I mean, that Paul ain't gonna have nothing but fucking ribs and skin. So when is this? When is this happening? I want to think it's June or July, isn't it? There we go right there. July. Saturday, July twentieth. For God's sakes, it's a yeah. lifetime away. All right, you have to remind me. Shit, I'll have my 65th birthday, and I'll fucking watch Tyson kill the motherfucker. Get you, get you, get blitz Knock ready. Knock the motherfucker out. Kick back. They showed it. They showed a clip on. Uh, I heard John Amos is on the undercard, by the way. They showed a, a clip on Instagram, and it showed um, Tyson fucking hitting up, hitting like this fucking, like a bolo fucking bag type thing, and then they showed Paul like hit like a fucking can like. One, two, three, boom. But the can was like in the air, spinning. And I'm thinking, and after, every, because every time I watch shit, I always think like some guy in a fucking green fucking outfit like doing all the fucking, you know, moving the can around. Oh, the green just, screen. Shooting kind the green, of, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm looking at that going, okay, so if I had to fucking, if I didn't know anything, <laughs> I just woke up, I'm Rip Van Winkle, I woke up and they said, Pick one of those two motherfuckers to fight. It'd be like the guy hitting the can, right? Because that's I, I think I would have to hit the fucking can before I got in there with Tyson. Oh, unbelievable! How many rounds are they going to go? It's a ten round fight. <laughs> one. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, Fernum Schnavitz the third junior. Uh, Kev, what's your favorite John Candy movie of all time? I personally love Planes, Trains, and Automobiles myself. I'm an Uncle Buck guy. How are you Uncle Buck? I do Stripes like... is good. Stripes is a classic. Is what that um, is. Right. Let me think. I've already told you. I told How about story. Spring Break? I, I told the story really? where he uh, he showed up at the, at the Lakers games. Like he would show up when we when we ran the forum, and Candy would show up in like a trench coat, and we'd stand it back there and like, hey, can I get in? He'd come watch us wrestle. Oh, when you guys would work, would, yeah, would wrestle we'd work at the, the forum? forum? Yeah, we work at the forum. And the first time we did it, we're like, you know, he's like, you know, got, a, got like a long coat on, and like unseasonably warm coat, and he's like. Can I get in? I'm like, fuck yeah, man. So like the back entrance he would come in? The, yeah. The wrestler's entrance? Well, wait a minute. <laughs> right, Gosh. right. You could have done the you could have done the <laughs> oh, uh, Wally oh, World to him. Yep. That's brilliant. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Somebody should have. That would have been really fucking funny. Yeah. He'd have really I, you know, he'd have probably really popped. <laughs> you could see it in his eyes. Yeah. He was really want somebody to fucking uh Make it more of a painful fucking transition to get in the back door than than, than possible. <laughs> okay, guys, fuck it, man. I don't want to go now. Was he a weirdo? Did you just kind of no, like? No, he was cool. Yeah, okay. He just, he just. You know what? He probably just like everybody else, man. He just. He probably just had enough. 
I swear, like there are times that I, I, I just I'm, I'm invisible, and then there was Sunday night coming through the Atlanta airport, and it was like, I guess because, like when you go out and you do an, an autograph signing, uh-huh. and. It's just not yourself, but there's nobody in the entire arena that makes any money. And even though you're told that you made more than anyone else, um, you're like, wow, man, like, I need to do something. Like, I need to, I need to do a movie. I need to do something. Maybe I should have showed up at Sting's match. No, uh, but, uh, you know, you're saying to yourself, like, fuck, man, like, I, you know. And then you're like, fuck, it. I'm just, fuck, you're getting old, man. The run's over. Then you go through the airport and, like, not kidding, you take 45 selfies between B4 and D14. <laughs> You know, you're just like, fuck, okay, well, I guess it's just Louisiana just ain't my cup of tea. Hmm. So. Well, there. do you ever have anonymity in an airport? Kevin, you know what a big part of your problem is, is your size. You know. That's what uh, she said. Some ca- Oh, some cats could, you know, throw on sunglasses, a hat, and kind of slink around but but there's other times i'll walk through i just think that that sunday that late sunday vibe and there's you know you look up at the fucking uh departure board and there's maybe 35 flights that still got to go out and it's just i think it's because it's kind of chill and it's a slower pace Mm. so Mm. i had two hours in between my flights so i was like fuck I went to Friday's and had the uh, chicken breast, Korean mm-hmm. barbecue sauce, mashed potatoes, and broccoli sauce, broccoli slaw, mm, with a good. with a athletic, non-alcoholic. Ah, uh, the beverage we IPA. talked about. Yes, I'm down twenty three pounds. You looked lighter today when we came on. Yeah, not now. <laughs> no, I Did mean this, you... I'm swelling from. Uh, from the heat under the lights um yeah i guess i you know i have to i gotta stay the clothes is the next step now i have to go ch- and get new clothes because the, everything i'm swimming in everything now, ban so. lawn they're uh, ban <clears throat> lawn's making a comeback ban do you remember, lawn ba, do you remember ban lawn shirts when we were kids they, they were like <sighs> what'd they look like fuck man can you, steve can you pull up a ban lawn shirt you have me by a couple of years. I was my like. How old are you this, talking? You were how old? This is. I'm gonna say like, yeah. This is about what, like when my dad passed away. Okay, so now I caught those in the '90s when they came back. Go to the no. Go to the guy with the striped shirt on and the and down there in the in the middle. Oh, that's yeah. very 1965, Ooh. there, isn't it? Yeah. Fuck yeah, man. <clears throat> that's like you. That motherfucker was at the grassy knoll. You're laughing, okay? Steve, bring up the Express website. I was an Express the other day, walking by. I think they're not age Oh, what's old is new. This is, new, I mean. this is all, I mean, it was back in the 90s for a while. Click men and look at the shirts. Uh, yeah, it was back in the 90s, and I had a lot of those. But um, scroll down to where we get to, uh, those are what, T-shirts? If they have like a shirt section... Oh, that whole look with the the, the collar, the, the the Tony Soprano esque look, is back. Those are all T shirts. You'll have to just trust me on this. But um, but yeah, man, it's I I if I had an original band line, I'd rock that motherfucker. I'd rock the fuck out of it. Absolutely. Put on my Ray Bans. Sit by the pool. Do my thing. Are you? Is it pool weather for you yet? What what are we talking about down there? Um. I'll, you know, I'll hold on a second here. I'll give you. I'll give you the. Uh, I'll give you the update. Um, go to frog weather. Always fun. I Ten days. Uh, 
We hit 64. So something tomorrow, years. Thursday, at 79, 63. Friday's 84, 65. God damn. Saturday's 86, 66. Sunday's 83, 66. Then we have a little cool spell. Monday is 76. Tuesday, 65. Wednesday, 71. But the UVA is already... UVA is 8 on Saturday, 8 on Friday. Yeah, UVA, so it's it's burned the dog fuck out of you outside right now if you don't wear sunscreen. You're, you're calling it cool, uh, the 60s. We're, we're going to hit 68 tomorrow and we're going to do a cartwheel. Done with this fucking window. Uh-huh. Sure I'll, I'll, I'll owe you one. <laughs> Let's see. Who do we got here? Uh, cha, cha, cha. The P says, Kev, in your opinion, who had the best worked punch in the business? The show gets better and better by the week. Thank you, The P. Hopefully this week doesn't change that for you. I'll tell you, fucking Scott Hall was, was Scott was, was about as a, a good a working punch as there was. Brett, too? I always thought Brett was. Brett, had, Brett, Brett was a little clubby. You know, it was a little bit more clubby than like Scott's was more of a. I thought, uh, tr- I think uh, Triple H had a good punch. I think I, I think the Shawn Michaels had a like, good. All those mm-hmm. guys threw good punches. Um, let's see. Yeah. Maybe that's the start of it, right? Maybe like like basics. Learn to throw a fucking. Learn to throw a fucking punch. working punches, you know. Yeah. And mine was always because I'm left-handed, so I mean, you know, to throw that to, to throw that right working punch, the right mm. hand, because that to me like that's not my, I I strike with my left, I jab with my right. Mm-hmm. If I'm in a fist fight. But you have to work. I actually don't, though. I actually, if it, I try to take out your knee and then use my elbows. I don't mm-hmm. like to fucking, I don't like to hit anybody with my fist. Because well, that's the thing. The, all the bones are small in your hands. And yeah, stuff. you're you fucking mad. This part of your elbow right here. I can, yeah. Right here, yeah. You put that in somebody's eye socket, they're fucking. Well, right here, right beside the nose. Yeah. Um, all right. How about the live audience? Let's hear from our friends here. They've been sitting through this. Jen Vargo. Hey, Jen. Your blue shirt goes nicely with your painting colors. It I does. did that on purpose. I, 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 I bought, um, this is a, a brand called Patriot Crew. It's on, you know, you can get it on fucking online and shit. It's, I think it's a Republican, like the, a, 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 like, a, like the Patriot Crew, and it's got an American flag on one shoulder. So I think it's a, uh, I think when I wear this that I, uh, I, I blend in. You blend in down there, Bike Week. Yeah. <laughs> so then. Thank you, Jen. Uh, Britt, <clears throat> W-W-E-D-X-E-C-W. Hey, Uncle Kev, you know I got to check, do my daily mental health checks on you with today being Test's anniversary and tomorrow being Scott's anniversary. How are you feeling? How sweet is she? She's sweet. Um, you know. I have so many. I have so. I have so many special anniversaries in my life. Um, that's probably why I'm just uh, so many times considered so jovial. So, yeah. But obviously, some weeks tougher than others. You know, right? Days, oh, days tougher than. I say, say, but that was like that whole thing. Like, hey, did you watch uh, Scott on? No, I didn't watch Scott's A and E. Like, what was this? I'm going to steal your phrase about the scab. Was you pick you pick a scab long enough it bleeds? No, I said we, I learned at eight years old. You pick a scab. You pick a scab. It's going to bleed. It's like, yeah. Yeah, I posted a like. Tamara had sent me a couple of pictures, and I posted I posted one on Instagram of her and T when we were up in Detroit. I saw that. And um, then I posted like on my story a picture of us at an Italian restaurant down here, 
and Tia just um, got like some some blonde thrown in his hair. But shortly after that, T got dreads, and it's just like one of those things where you um, you do it with all the right intentions, like you 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 know because you want it like. You look at it, and it, it, it brings you back to that, that time when he was a little kid. And so you post it, and then you go back four hours later, and you just pull up your Instagram page, and then you pull that up, and then it's just like, and then it's a downer. Then you want to delete it, and then you read all the nice messages that people say and you're like like double edged sword like okay let's not fucking post let's not do anything for a while let's just is it therapeutic for you to post I know Tamara frequently has a lot of positivity around what she she'll put something up a memory of tea and I feel like for her that's part of the process is it for you too no right to me it's um brings you somewhere i i think it's probably like fucking though i've never have done it like smoking crack cocaine like i think that when i hit it it's like yeah and then fucking as soon as that buzz is gone i'm like jones and foot like it's not a good it's not a good place right okay gotcha Okay. Um, who else in the house? What else we got? Anybody else want to know why I didn't go to Sting's fucking uh, retirement match? Are you going to be all elite anytime soon? I don't think so. I, 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 I would probably fucking uh, be in the Russian infantry uh, before I'm in Before all that. Okay. Yeah. James Bedford, what are your thoughts on all of the NFL moves that have happened this week? Who won and who lost? Um, what trades? I haven't I, even been fine, I think the, I, I think the, I think the Eagles did pretty well picking up uh, our, our boy from the Giants. I, I'm telling you, man, picking up Henry, the Ravens got uh, Henry from the the Titans, I think that's a huge pick. Um, I saw I saw a stat today where um, yeah, Dom says Russell Wilson going to the Steelers is going to be interesting. I mean, he can't throw for any less touchdowns than that fucking kid did. So. Um, they had a uh, uh, fucking, I gotta think of his name now. He's the he, what was the uh, the cat? He just got signed. Um, he was the the Vikings quarterback. He's like a real religious guy. He got hurt. Yeah, Cousins. So they 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 had a they had a, a thing today where it, it said uh, Brady made three hundred and thirty three million dollars. In his uh, career, and it had like 33 playoff wins and something else, and then Cousins had made 412 million in his career. He had one playoff win. Wow, mm. that's unbelievable, huh? All right, anyone else? Dan Updike, did I turn Kev onto a new Get Blitz concoction? Is he replacing the Sprite Zero? Yeah, because it, it, Sprite Zero's got all that other shit. I don't know why. I really haven't looked at the Prime, but um, I, I think that there, there's more. It's got a bit, It just has a bit. It just it's, it's a different flavor. I think the fact that it's so it's so the Prime is so over the top lemon lime that it um 
pairs nicely. Yeah. With the. But you have to realize line. that I, I do mine shaken, not stirred. Not stirred. Not stirred. So. Mr. Bond, might I remind you, Headingite, uh, go ahead, Headingite, uh, do you have any good Fink stories? How was he as a person? When he died, it wasn't clear if he had any family. Who would get his royalties? He had, uh, he had just gotten married. Uh, I met his wife. It was his girlfriend for a while. Then I think he just got married right before he got sick, if I'm not mistaken. So I guess it would be her. I don't know family beyond you that. You know, I, I, I think, think was. I, I don't think there's anybody that could ever say anything bad about the man because he was just, it was fucking, he was a gem. He was a sweetheart of a human. He was just, he was always kind, thoughtful. He was always, a pre, he was appreciative to see you and always, I, I, I always appreciated seeing him. He was just a, a, a really just one of a kind human being. Yeah, he was. In a, in a shit fucking business, he was, you know, Genuine. Baby yeah. Jesus. He always used to say to me when we would, when I'd see him, he'd say, Sean, I love the things you do. Now I'm speaking from a company perspective, just just, just personally that I enjoy watching the program. I'm like, I, Howard, I know you're not giving me the stamp of approval from Connecticut. I get it, right, dude. Right. You like to laugh at the video. He videos. was such a fucking company guy. He man. was such a company, man. Uh, never got to Back do the Back in the book day, though, man. We Back in the day, you know, we, we you'd get lost, especially I mean, fucking up there in the Northeast, and that motherfucker man, he was like having ways. <laughs> oh, they take the fucking this bridge to this bridge to this. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it'd be like whoa, because I'm one of those people that actually like when I'm getting directions from somebody, and I don't know where the fuck I'm going, I write them down. Right. Imagine that. Instead of fucking going and getting directions and coming back and getting the back seat of the car and going, what did they say? Fuck. I don't I, know. <laughs> something up there and then left. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. Let me go in. Let, let's let's just, why don't we all go in and see if we can get this done. So, Kevin, you obviously exited on the Belt Parkway. You need to get back on the LIE. Do you yeah. remember when the fucking Garden State was like 40 cents every three miles? The tolls, yeah. The parkway, yeah. yeah the parkway was horrendous. Oh fuck! And that was like the only way to Poughkeepsie from Newark. What a fucking man! I I think about that shit, and I'm like, we should have took. It, it feels like it was so long ago. We should have took the Hindenburg. It would have been easier. <laughs> you know, it's like what the fuck? Like what fucking planet were we on? With the fucking Rand McNall fucking maps and oh yeah, you had the 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 rent a car gimmick right the the Avis map used to yeah and it, and then you of course you you'd get it in Newark and the fucking you know Vince would fucking have you go to fucking you know uh, Bakersfield California the map would run out <laughs> you know when you when you got outside of fucking Philadelphia. He's like, oh, right. fuck, now we're on our own. So that's why everybody everybody had a map, and I had the OAG. I had the official airline guide, and that was every fucking flight. So if you went, you know, if you were looking from uh, Philadelphia to Boston, you'd go Philly, and then you'd look up Boston, and they would have every fucking airlines, every flight times the numbers and that was all paper tickets so you'd have to fucking yeah. sit there with all four guys paper tickets in front of you and all right scott hall this is he's it, 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 give the numbers and it was like i was i was the travel agent hmm did you guys lose tickets all the time like when it was about now if you ever lost it, you just go on your phone it's right there but no, because that's fucking, that was Lou Albano number one, man. Protect fucking, your ticket? You go, you, go, no, you, get, you go to fucking TV, you get your money, get your tickets. Get your fucking draw, get your tickets. And they'd fucking, man, you'd get a fucking. Yeah. I mean, you'd have a fucking shitload of tickets. So. And were they specific flights or they? Or, oh, like, yeah. 
they, so your week was. You're on a six, you, dude. You're on the fucking first flight. If you're on a flight, you're on the fucking first flight. And it's good, insane. good luck, fucking. You know, with some Z fare. The the amount of times you got a Y fare that you could fuck with. Always coach. Hmm. Hmm. Get, uh, I'm, uh, Yoko couldn't have flown coach. Fuck. Two seats. Yeah. God damn. It's brutal, man. God damn. You earned your keep, my brother. Yeah, I didn't have a vodka rap bus, that's for sure. No. <laughs> Click This is a production of Butch and Sundance Media, produced in association with podcasts. He created by Tristan Nash, Kevin Nash, and Sean Oliver. Producer Steve Kaufman. Graphics by Can Dennis I say Angelo. one thing before we go off the air? This is your fucking show. Anything you want. It's only a shit move if you're a fucking bitch. You were saying? I know what you're referring to. Should I should I just keep reading the just keep that should reading. have come at the top of the show so that no. people could carry it? No. I think the title sequence and audio edit was by Wesley Burleson. Theme song by Dale Oliver. Technical research by Tristan Nash. Copyright 2024. <laughs> Saves that till 9.30. Butch and Sundance Media. Kev, you want to do it again? Bitch move or not? <laughs> Shit move or not. Never answers the